There's nothing more tragic than strings that are too close to the edge of the fretboard. Before I continue with this video, I wanted to remind you to like, comment, and share this video as a way to support my channel. If you would like to do more, you can either click the thanks button down below and leave a tip in the amount that you choose, or you can visit my YouTube store, which is displayed below the description for this video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any future guitar building videos. Hey everyone, welcome to another one of my guitar building videos. Today is going to be a video where I ask you the viewer a question rather than you the viewer asking me a question. And what I'm hoping is that we'll all chime in to the comments section down below and perhaps we'll all learn something. And this is going to be kind of an interesting question. Um, so bear with me. What I want to know is when you're building a guitar, do you try to lay out the strings so that the distance between the edge of the outer strings is a specific distance from the edge of the fretboard? And I'm asking this question because recently I started designing a guitar which is going to be part of a uh, one of those multi-part guitar building uh, video series. And as I was laying it out, I started to think about the layout of the strings and it suddenly occurred to me that, you know, over the years I've always used just a, a, a dimension that I pulled out of nowhere. Uh, it's basically an eighth of an inch, 0.125 inches or a little bit more than three millimeters. And that's a dimension that I use on both the bass side and the treble side. So I kind of started to, to wonder, do other people have specific dimensions that they follow? Is there uh, an, an industry standard, a rule of thumb, so to speak? Should there be a number that we all try to hit when it comes to laying out the strings? on the guitar or is it just one of those you know pretty much whatever you want it to be and are are some of you out there just building the guitar stringing it up and hoping for the best because i have had some viewers uh, mention a couple of times that when they were building their guitars they uh, made the mistake of placing the, the strings or making the neck too narrow so that the strings were too close to the edge of the fretboard. So in planning this new guitar build, I thought, well, I'm going to find out what other people are doing and see if, you know, if my eighth of an inch is within reason, which I think it is, but you never know. So I thought I would ask that question. And this kind of all came about because when I design a guitar, I'm using 3D CAD software to lay it out since I'm using a CNC machine to cut all the parts. As a result, I can get super accurate in the position of all the components. And as I was doing that, I suddenly began to realize that, you know, even though when we build a guitar, we try to adhere to respecting the center line of the neck, the fretboard, and the body, there can be instances when you, you really can't adhere to that rule. Now, I'm not going to get into the specifics of that right now because it'll take too long to explain. But when I start doing that video series here in a week or two, as I start to build that guitar, uh, one of the first videos that I'm going to post in that series is going to be how I planned the uh, design for the guitar. And I may get into a little bit more detail, but when you, you use CAD software to design your guitar, it's very possible to get extremely accurate in the placement of everything. And one of the reasons why I do that is because it allows me to uh, anticipate and avoid uh, common mistakes that might occur later on during the construction process. So that way, when I actually start to cut, carve, and sand 
all the wood for the guitar, I really don't have to worry about whether everything is going to fit together properly. So if you'd be so kind as to chime in with your thoughts on the spacing between the string and the fretboard, I would appreciate it. Maybe we can all get some ideas to what, what we should be shooting for. And also when you mention this, I would encourage you to specify whether you're measuring from the edge of the string to the edge of the fretboard or from the center of the string to the edge of the fretboard. There's two different ways to do it. And you know, even if you measure from the center of the string to the edge of the fretboard, it's possible to um, subtract from that measurement the radius of the string so that you know exactly how far the edge of the string is from the edge of the fretboard. And also I'd like to know if you try to keep that dimension the same on both sides, which is what I try to do. And you know, do you try to maintain it consistently from the nut all the way to the end of the fretboard? So uh, just some food for thought and we'll see what comes up of this. So until the next episode, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.